State Library of Victoria is such an extraordinary exemplar of learning in its most dynamic form. Its programs that span all ages, barely a seat available on its site because people of all backgrounds are pursuing their individual interests in a collective setting. I would also like to thank a few other partners who've made this night possible, and that includes our presenting partners of Bastow Institute of Educational Leadership and the Center for Curriculum Design, and also our event partner, The Monthly. I would like to just spend a few minutes telling you about why we've brought Charles Fidel and Jennifer Westicott to this occasion tonight to speak to you. At the heart of all's 10-year ambition is the belief that Alvin Toffler was absolutely accurate in his prediction that in the 21st century it is essential to learn, unlearn, and relearn. And it strikes me that we have, cannot believe how prophetic that is. Since the last time I stood here two years ago when we gathered for the first lecture, there were things that we couldn't have possibly imagined now on our landscape, fake or authentic news, new alignments of nations, areas of technology where I learned last night we may be storing Amazon products in the sky, and maybe also, most importantly, new biases that we have to confront and new oversights we have to look at. So it seems to me that the capacity to learn, unlearn, and relearn is an essential resource for us to meet those challenges and to sustain a caring and growing community. Yet in Australia, our public discussion tends to focus only on funding issues, test scores, school sectors, and disparities between federal and state governments. Rarely is there a discussion of the core purposes of learning and education and what we as a country want to achieve and value. Without attention to ideas, things may go out of date and they may be counterproductive because there are always ideas operating, informing the way we judge ourselves, the way we act, the way we construct our institutions and systems. And one of the ideas that we believe needs reconsideration is the idea of success. And that brings us, obviously, to tonight. All would like to make a proposition to you that it, to serve the interests of our children, we need a new understanding of success. Success at school has always been a highly charged issue. It prompts great aspiration, great effort, but it also causes huge angst and even damage. Many, many young people leave our schools feeling they are a failure or inadequate. This in itself might, might, us, might make us pause, but there is another major factor. That is that our children are entering a future entirely different from the one we have known. When they graduate, it is likely that people will have 17 jobs in one lifetime. Robots will not only drive cars, but do a great deal of legal and accounting work. It will not suffice to have a great basis in English and maths, critical as they will remain. But they will need additional skills, including problem solving, flexibility, capacity to work collaboratively, intercultural understanding, and great strengths within themselves. As a nation, we need to be clear about the idea of success that we are using because it is different from the one in the past. 
A number of schools, and many of you, I'm sure, are working on the skills that will um, lead to the new success. But this needs to become mainstream and be in the very fabric of what we do at the center and not tinkering around the edges. And that is why it is a great honor to have Charles Fidel here with us tonight to deliver the Australian Learning Lecture 2017. It was Charles in his groundbreaking book, 21st Century Skills, who actually pioneered our understanding of these skills and made a map through his four-dimensional education in a rigorous and very clear way of what is needed. Since that time, he has worked with more than 30 countries and also works with the OECD. Equally, it is a great honor and a delight to have Jennifer Westacott, CEO of the Business Council of Australia, joining us tonight. Jennifer is also leading real change in the business community. The Business Council of Australia has recently published a new description of work readiness, moving from skills to skills, values, and behaviors. A very clear sign that there is a new criteria for success. Mm -hmm.